Hello, it's uh, Harry here. So in this video, I want to talk about uh, input panel and uh, action button in Shiny app. So I listed four items uh, in the screen. And so we're going to go through these items one by one. I will use some uh, R programs uh, to discuss these uh, items. So let's look at the first one. How to select the one item from each input panel. So let's look at the R program. It's app1.r. OK, so in this uh, program, I use a matrix function to create some um, a data frame. Uh, in this data frame, there are some categorical variables. Uh, they are sex, race, and ethnic. And then here is the UI. I will use input panel to select some values from those uh, categorical variables. So here they are. Uh, I'm using unique function to get the values of those variables. And then I use the input panel to let the user select uh, values. And then I have the action button here. So let's run this uh, app. OK, so the action is in listing. Uh, so here, default values are already uh, selected. Uh, we have white for race, male for sex, and not Hispanic or Latino for the ethnicity. So let's click on the Apply button. OK, so you can see some records are printed out. If you want to change the uh, value, so let's change this to black or African-American, change this to female, change this to um, not reported, click on the button. OK. So you can see different records are printed. OK, so that's the first uh, um, item I want to discuss. The next one is, um, OK, how to select multiple items from each input panel. So some uh, uh, categorical variables can have more than two values. So uh, what if we want to choose more than uh, one value from the input panel? Uh, it's actually quite uh, simple. So let's look at the second R program. OK, so it's the same program, uh, except that we have to add an option to the input panel. It's uh, multiple equals true. So we add that to every input panel. So let's run this app. OK, so you can see we have the drop-down box here. So let's choose one value, see how it works. Let's choose female. Let's choose uh, not Hispanic or Latino. Click on the Apply button. So you get the records. Now, I want to choose a second value uh, from the race. Let's choose Asian or Pacific Islander. Uh, choose male here. Choose uh, Hispanic or Latino. Let's click on the Apply button. OK, so you can see a lot more records are printed out. So that's how to choose uh, multiple values in each uh, uh, input panel. OK, so uh, in this uh, output, you can see uh, the input panels uh, are, are occupying three rows. The Apply button is occupying another row. So what if we want to uh, uh, put them on one row? So that's the next item I want to discuss. OK, so how to display multiple input panels and the action button in one row. So let's see how we can do that. It's uh, app3.r. OK, um, so what we need to do is to put the input panel statements and the action button inside of the parentheses for split layout. So uh, also we need this cell width uh, statement. In here, we have to specify the percentage for each input panel and the action button. So let's run this app. OK, so now you can see 
uh, the input panels and the apply button are all displayed in one row. So let's choose some value here. Let's choose uh, mail. Let's choose uh, not report it and click on the apply button. So you get some uh, records printed out. Okay, so that's how to put the input panels and, and action button in one row. Uh, the last item I want to discuss is, uh, uh, so let me close this. Okay, the last item is how to put the input panel and action button in the sidebar menu. So in the previous three R programs, we put the uh, input panel and, and the action button in the main panel. What if we want to put them in the uh, sidebar menu? So let's look at the last R program. Okay, it's uh, it's very simple. We just need to move those uh, input statement, input panel statements, and the action button uh, to a parenthesis for the sidebar menu. Previously, the input panel and the action button they are under this uh, tab panel. So we move it here. I added a one option: the style equal to. Uh, the background color is black because uh, if it is white, we have trouble seeing those uh, uh, words. Okay, let's run this app. So you can see all these uh, input panels and the action button are all um, displayed in the sidebar menu. So let's just quickly choose some value and make sure it works. Let's go to listing. Okay, if I change the value here, click on apply button. Okay, so it works. Okay, so that's all I wanna uh, talk about in this video. Um, I'm going to put the uh, R programs in my GitHub account, and I will leave a link below the video. If you think this is helpful, Give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing. Thank you.